1985 Land Rover Defender 110, 2.5 litre turbo diesel, five speed gearbox. This one in white. Body weight wise, we'll start off the bonnet, work our way around onto the interior, then we'll go for an engine start up. Nice and straight down the bonnet, there's no major dings or dents at all down the body lines. A little bit flat in places, just want a bit of a machine polish or a hand polish in places, a little bit flat, a little bit of engraved dirt in here, a little bit. You can see some old stickers there do say police, so I presume at some point it was in the force and the police force, this one. Hinges, a little bit of corrosion, actual hinges themselves, but they are alley, but the rest of the around the actual metal works all nice and tidy. Across the front of the scuttle, there's a few little tiny bits, which you can't see with it being white, but not bad at all. Just a few little sort of stone chips that have gone a little bit rusty. Right-hand side hinge there, you'll see a bit of paint flake on the corner, but again, around the actual metal work, seems to be nice and tidy. Nice and straight down the right-hand side, the lean edge of the bonnet. Like I say, no big things or dents at all on the, on the bonnet there. A little bit flat in places, but that's all. Wing corners are good as well, not dented in. A few little marks and some engraved dirt in it. Like I say, a good old polish would square that and just bring some shine back to it. Lamp lenses are all okay. All intact there across the grill. No cracks in the grill there, all nice and straight. Right hand side again, the lamp lenses are all nice and fresh. Big steel bumper there, again, it's in good condition. No big dings or dents at all in that. As we come round onto the right hand side again, the wing tops all nice and tidy. There's a few little marks, bits and pieces in the paint itself. Across the top of the wing, nice and straight. A few bits of paint flake and the odd mark in the paintwork itself where it's been painted at some point. The plastic arches are all colour coded, they're all okay. Nice steel wheels all the way around with these uh, general grabbers all the way around as well. Nice and tidy down the rest of the wing, around the hinges on the doors, all okay. A little bit of a mark here on that centre pillar, pillar there. And a little bit of mark on the door where it looks like the door straps come all the way around and it's sort of dented into there. Across the lower half, a little bit of a bleb there below the hinge. Across the lower half of that sill section is all okay. Normally the paint's all worn off here where you're getting in and out, but that's not too bad. And it's fairly straight for a Defender as well. A little bit of a car park and dent there above the driver's door handle, but the rest of the driver's door is all okay. And a tiny little bleb down on the bottom. As we come on to the driver's rear door again, bottom half of the door looks to be nice and tidy. With it being white, you wouldn't notice the rust from a mile away. Door's obviously been painted at some point. We've got a little bit of paint freight there and a few runs in the door, but overall very presentable. Glass is all okay as well. I'll do the roof as much as I can. Looks all right once a, once a good press wash off, I would say. If I walk around there, you can have a good look at that, but it's nice and straight down both sides. I apologise for the shocking camera work there. Appalling that. We'll do it like that. There you go. Right, I say nice and straight down the driver's side. I'll do the chassis as well while we're here, so you can have a good look at that. I'll, on the old knees there, so we'll have a good look at the chassis. And those outriggers there. And the one at the front there. Modern bits and pieces, but there you go. <coughs> so come down the driver's side on the rear quarter again, all nice and presentable down the rear quarter. Around the fuel caps, all okay. And again, around the arch, all all right. A little bit of paint flake on the arch there. Nice big steel wheel with a general grabber on the back right hand side. The steps all sort of fold up and go down as they should, and you can't stand on them. You don't feel like they're going to fall off. Come round the rear. All all right down this section here where we normally get some rust and around the alley trim's all okay. Glass is all all right on the back as well. Light lenses are all good. Nice big matching spare wheel with a Michelin on there. Rear cross member, I'll put the step down. A little bit of rust on the bottom, a little bit of alley rash, sorry, on the bottom of the tailgate there. Just a little bit popping through. Cross the cross member, have a good look at that there. All seems to be all all right. And a few little bubbles on the bottom on the right hand side. The rear panels themselves seem to be all okay. Stand back so you can have a proper study of that there. I'll go underneath so I can have a look because it's normally the quarter chassis on these. I'll do my best to, to show you. Underneath there. And again from the left hand side. If you can see that there, 
Right, as we come round on the left hand rear quarter, again, all okay, a little bit flat in places, again, a little bit of pain flick around the arch, but no major alley rush, alley rush, alley rash on the lower sections. And again, nice and straight down that rear quarter, a little bit of pain flake around the window surrounds. So we move on to the passenger rear door, again, no major dings or dents down this side. It's had some paintwork at some point in its life, but it is from 1985. It is a Defender, you'd expect it. Be a little bit concerned if it hadn't. All all right on the passenger rear door. As we come down the passenger front door, again, there's a few marks and bits and pieces in the paintwork itself. No big dings or dents. And a few little blebs along the bottoms of the doors there, but not bad at all. On the left-hand side, as we come round the front wing again, that plastic arch has been painted. So you're going to get some paint for it. We've got a bit of bubbling underneath the paint itself, sort of silicones in the paint but nice and level from a few steps back we will go into the interior now as you can see what's happened is the door stri striker has come off there uh, and sitting a little runner and it must have hit the door that's why the door's marked driver's door cart all okay quite a rare interior i believe a little bit of a rip in the front of the driver's suite on the bottom of the swab there but the bolster itself is nice and tidy. The rest of the backrest is all good. The headrest is nice. Across the dashboard, we've got no cracks at all across there. All nice and straight as we come through the dash there. Nice and tidy. See that? I don't know if that would be original, that head unit. If it's police, I don't know we'd have them. Five-speed manual gearbox. All the dials are nice and clear. Easy to be ready. You can see 155,548 there on the mileage. There is a bit of a mileage discrepancy if you do with the old reg checker. But I'm sure James will get to the bottom of that. We'll check the paintwork to see if it's had a speedo change. Headline itself, nice and tidy throughout the whole way. There's a few little marks on it, but it's not bad at all. It doesn't smell like damp. It's not wet from there anywhere. We go into the driver's rear now. Door guard again, nice and tidy. No cracking in that at all. Rear seat, again, a few little stains on it, but no rips or tears. A little bit of a nick out of the middle seat there. It's supposed to sit upright. All okay there, it's just a bit of, there's no rips or tears in that. A little bit of wear to the armrest. You've got a sort of, I would say, homemade carpet set in the back there. Look at the headline in there. It's like a 12 seat of this one. All the doors shut right, you're not slamming the doors and they have to do close first time. Onto the rear now again, you can see you got those big long bench seats there with a Brown carpet throughout again. Seat, no rips or tears in the back there. A few little stains, but no rips or tears. And have a look at the headline in from the back. This is a passenger rear now. Again, door cards nice and tidy. No marks on that, like no major rips or tears or cracks of the plastic. And the passenger rear seat again, no rips or tears in that. A few little stains on the centre, but that's all to be considered. Even the backs of the seats are nice. On the uh, passenger side as well and now this is a passenger front again door card all okay nice and tidy no cracks to that the seat itself's got a bit of wear to the middle section again but the bolster is good on both sides a few little stains on the far side there but a nice usable old defender this one we'll go on to the engine bay now bear with me for a second while i pop this open a little bit of dodgy camera wig. It will open straight up there. Put it onto the stair. We'll have a good look in there. 2.5 2 litre turbo diesel, this one. I'll try and get as much as a bulkhead as I can. Seem to be galvanising the wings there. Right, I will fire it up. It's on cold start up, so bear with me a second because we'll... Um, we'll warm the plugs up a little bit on this with it being diesel should get a little glow plug light there we go glow plug lights come on hold that on there for a few seconds just so it fires up cold start it hasn't been started yet today this one probably could have done with just leaving those plugs for a little bit longer there but it's ticking over nice and happy Nice and quiet that, not too loud at all, don't have to raise my voice there. Shot bellowing out loads of smoke. It's a little bit of smoke there where I should have let the plugs warm up a tiny bit longer. 
but we all make mistakes. That's it, well, nice and happy. There you have it, the 1985 Land Rover Defender 110 2.5 litre turbo diesel, the 12 seat, 5 speed manual gearbox there.